Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. My name is Richard Evans and today I want to show you how to configure Live Story Creator Signal Flows. Basically we're going to take the Live Story Creator script and we're going to take that from script to screen. Now Live Story Creator is a way for you to harness the power of Microsoft Word, create a script and have that script run the show for you via TriCaster. Today I'm just going to do something very simple. This is going to be part one of a continuing series of how to use Live Story Creator properly. So today we're just going to show you how to get the script to your screen. Let's take a look. All right, all right, all right. So first off, I'm going to start off on my laptop screen where I have written a very simple script about Live Story Creator. So this is using the power of Microsoft Word. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save this particular file to, uh, I'm going to uh, save this to a network attached storage drive as Live Story Creator sample script. But you could also bring this over via a thumb drive, uh, etc., or just download it off of an email, etc., onto your TriCaster. But now that I've saved this file onto my network drive, let's move over to my TriCaster and let's load in that script into my TriCaster. Now I am running the TriCaster 410 Plus with premium access. Premium access is the only way that you can get access to Live Story Creator. And you're gonna find that once you have that installed at the very bottom where it says, or next to our DDRs, it'll say automation. And this is where we can load in our script. So let's go ahead and click on this plus button here and navigate to my file structure where I have saved that particular file onto my network drive and click open and ta-da there is my script in all of its glory ready for me to read off as a teleprompter okay now before we start to configure things a little bit more let's take a look at some of the different controls that are within the live story creator automation tab here so uh, first off i can hit this x button and it will make my script disappear which i do not want to do but beneath that you'll see that I have a, a little carrot here which will allow me to put this uh, anywhere on screen so that when my script gets to a certain point I can read those words. Or if you're using Live Story Creator, this will also be the place where if you have an action on screen, it will, once your action comes across this particular carrot, it will execute that action and perform the different tasks that you've assigned for it to do. But again, today we're only gonna use this as a teleprompter so we're not gonna go that far just yet, so stay tuned for more for that. Okay, so now uh, going through some more controls here, you see that I have this, what looks like a fader bar here. These are the controls for the speed of which my teleprompter is going to play at. So for example, I'll hit play right now, and that's going at a pretty decent speed, but if I want to speed it up, I'll just go ahead and grab this and move it down so I can go a little bit faster, or if I need to slow it down in real time, I can do that so that if your speaker is, uh, you know, just needs to catch up, et cetera, you can do that, or we can even back it up as well. If they can read backwards, that's a good way to do it. Aha. Okay, so uh, another action that you can do within this automation tab is over here on this gear icon. So let's bring that up. And this is the output configuration for the teleprompter itself. So uh, I can either have it set to where it will observe or ignore comments or observe and ignore headings, which I'm gonna leave that default. But then I can also adjust the, uh, the font that I want my teleprompter uh, screen to be uh, using. Uh, or I can also adjust the, the font size as well. So that way, you know, if you have somebody that can't see things too far away, like myself, uh, you can go ahead and crank that up so that they can see the words much bigger. Uh, also, depending on how you have your monitor configured, uh, if you want to flip your image horizontally or vertically, you can do that from here as well, as well as adjust your margins. But I'm going to leave this all just the way it is right now and get to the good stuff, which is routing this script to a monitor. So going back over here to my camera, you'll see that I have my monitor on my desk, which is currently plugged into the mix number two output of my TriCaster. So I'm just sending out this cool animated new tech logo, but now I want to send the script to this screen. So let's do that. So uh, back over here in the 410 plus interface, I am going to load my script into one of these inputs so that I can send it out. So I'm using, I'm not using input number eight here, so let's click on that. 
And under my source drop down, what you will do next is we're going to search for the same system that I am running right now, which is my 410 plus. So when I get here, you'll see that I have all of my different inputs coming in, uh, my mixes, and also down here, I have my teleprompter. So we click on that and boom, there it is. So input number eight is now the script coming from Live Story Creator. And if I hit play here, you'll see that that will then uh, uh, move accordingly in input number eight. Now, doing it this way, you do have to sacrifice one of your inputs, so keep that in mind in order to get this out. But now, let's go ahead and route this input to one of the outputs of my TriCaster. And again, like I mentioned, I am running output number two to my monitor, so let's click on our output configuration and go to mix number two, select this dropdown, and select input eight, and ta-da, check it out. There is my script ready to go. So now I can just use this as a regular old teleprompter. We use this all the time if I just need to look up words or forget what I'm saying or something like that. This is a great way to do it. But there's a little bit more we can do with this as well using the power of NDI Studio Monitor. So let's take a look at that. All right, so here I am on my laptop. Now, let's say that we don't want to necessarily sacrifice one of the inputs coming into my TriCaster to get this teleprompter to work. We can also still use the teleprompter feature uh, on any NDI-enabled device, like a laptop like this, using NDI Studio Monitor, which you can download for free at ndi.tv. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on this menu up here in the top left. And again, these are all the different sources that I have available to me uh, for me to look at. Now, I'm going to go ahead and instead of saying mix number two here, let's go ahead and just select teleprompter like this. And ta-da, there we go. Now, all I have to do is hit play, and now I have access to this particular script off of any NDI-enabled device. But there's a little bit more that we can do with this as well. Okay, so let me go back to my Word script, and I want to show you one other thing. Let's say that we want to make some adjustments to our script in real time. This happens to me all the time, where I've written out my script, but Lenny, my producer, is like, ah, oh, we can punch that up and make it a little bit better, or take out the words that normally uh, Richard would use and be awkward with, kind of like what I'm saying now. Okay, so. Let's see, uh, this is the original script that I have here. Live Story Creator is a revolutionary approach to program automation, but let's put in just one extra word here just for an example, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just click Control S to save that document. And now I have updated my script and saved it to that same location that I had before. All right, now let's move back over to the TriCaster and check this out. Now. You'll see that I've updated my script, but I'm missing that word really in here. And that's because I have not updated what I have currently loaded into this tab. So to update that, you'll see now I have a new icon right in the middle here. And if I click on that, boom. Now, Live Story Creator is a really revolutionary approach to program automation using Microsoft Word. All right, now as you can see, there's some really cool things you can do with Live Story Creator, and we're just getting started. So, if you want to find out more about Live Story Creator, contact your local reseller or go to newtech.com. Also, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page at youtube.com slash newtechinc. And also, be sure to tune in to newtech.tv, which is where we'll be showing off all the latest and greatest information coming out of Newtech and some special guests. Until then, thank you all for watching, and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of Newtech Tuesday Tutorials.